It will. It's the inaugural season for the Morgan State University acrobatics and tumbling team, who just competed earlier today against Bluefield State University. Armiana Massey caught up with their head coach and athletes to hear more about their historic season. Five, six, seven, eight. One. When I was signing, I wasn't really thinking like, oh yeah, this is really making history. But when you're actually like set in stone and you start competing and doing stuff, it's just like, wow, like this is really happening. Freshman Mia Taylor now etched in history as one of 26 minority women, a part of the first HBCU Division One acrobatics and tumbling team. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Often underrepresented. Head coach Regina Smith is working to change the narrative, recruiting star athletes from around the nation. They want the opportunities. A lot of them don't know how to get it, and being the first Division One HBCU, being able to bring that opportunity to Morgan State was huge. But their inaugural season hasn't always been easy. People look at us and they already have an expectation, but they really don't know because my team just comes with a lot. A medley of skill sets coming together as one. Acro consists of gymnasts. Power tumblers, cheerleaders. Through the journey, they've had ups and downs, but coach says they've continued to raise the bar, exceeding expectations. The nation was surprised to see how talented and powerful we are. Often, the commentators speak about just the. Um, the amount of skill set that we have as such a young team, comprised of mostly freshmen and sophomore. Aside from sport, it's about sisterhood. Everyone really supports each other and cheers for each other when they get new stuff, and I feel like that's what's going to set us apart from like other people because we actually want to see each other win before we win as a whole. Morgan State's final meet of the season will be televised on ESPN Plus. It's on April 11th at 6 p.m. against Long Island University. I'm Yana Massey for WJZ.